part where I say, I'm glad Obi on the Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. If you do not know me, my name is Amarachi and I currently live and work in Kaunas, Lithuania. And as you can see, I have somebody here with me. Yes, she does. Yes. Is this is the part where I introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, so um, the video that we're going to be making today is one that I get a lot of questions about in my DM, on Instagram, on Twitter, everywhere. So people keep asking me about school and opportunities and I'm like, okay, maybe the best thing to do is to actually bring somebody who went through the process and is currently schooling here so that she can answer many of the questions that, you know, I get asked and then maybe help you guys make the decision to come and study in Lithuania if you want. Hopefully, when we are done with this video, it would answer your questions. But if it doesn't, and you have more questions for her, and you'd like to see more of her on this channel, then maybe you should just leave a comment, leave your questions, and whatever it is you want her to answer, and I'll find a way to bribe her to come back <laughs> to this channel. <laughs> yes. So, we're just going to get right into it, and then I would ask her to introduce herself. Okay. Um, hi, Amarachi. Hi guys, <laughs> my name is Abiola Bimbola uh, Faith. Um, presently a first year master student in Lithuania here, Vilnius City actually, uh, Vilnius University, one of the best universities in Europe actually. Um, I my class is a year and a half. I should be done by January 20, 2022. Yes, yes, and it's it's been a beautiful experience. I, that's me. So what are you doing your masters in? International communication. The first question I'm going to ask, or rather the second question I'm going to ask is, you know, why Lithuania? How did you find out about Lithuania? And when did you find out about Lithuania? Okay, well, um, I knew I wanted to do my masters in 2020, uh, before the whole COVID happened. And uh, just one day, randomly, I'd been seeing posts and stuff on Instagram. I just saw this post, um, school in Lithuania for... Honestly, before then, I'd never heard about Lithuania. School in Lithuania for from starting from one point six million, which is about roughly four thousand euro. Yeah, yeah, like four thousand. Like four thousand euro. So I, it was intriguing. I'm like, okay, Lithuania. So I went to Google, checked the country, and I realized it was a Schengen country. Uh, checked the population. So I knew I wanted to do something in communication. I had studied mass communication for my first degree. So. I just checked schools that had stuff in communications. Mm -hmm. I had Vilnius University, um, Clapidia. I had like four or five different schools. My colos also in in Vilnius, and then I did the same. I went to the second state best schools in Lithuania, and tada! So what is nothing but the best? <laughs> yes, I mean the first thing is knowing okay what schools has this course I want to do something in this course I want to do. Mm -hmm. The second step is which are the best schools i mean mm -hmm. it's very important mm -hmm. so i saw vilnius university as number one so i said okay let's check and luckily for me i wanted something in corporate communication um and then i saw i saw international communication so it was just for me to go read more on international communications and check the courses like all i will be doing in in international communication it was 100% what i wanted so i said yes this is it this is the school this is the course and so so from what you said the first thing to do is even decide what you want yes. to do decide the course because i also get a lot of people you know coming to ask me what schools are affordable or what schools are the best universities or what schools will i recommend them to you know apply to and my answer is always the, and my answer is always the same you know Talk about what you want to do first. What course do you want to study? Mm -hmm. And when you find out, when you decide on the course you want to study, the next step will now be to check out the schools yeah. who offer these courses that you want to study. And then when you now have an options of multiple options of school, we can now discuss or oh, which is better or which is more affordable. So you mentioned that you found uh, a post online. So just run us through the process of, you know, finding out that you wanted to do international communications mm -hmm. in Vilnius University to get in here. Run us through the process. Okay, so um, when I knew I wanted to study international communications and I knew I was going to, this is what I wanted to do. So I sent a message to the post, to the handle of the agent and said, okay, so um, I want to give you guys service. I want to school in Lithuania. And then they sent me courses and sent me school. And I said, no, I, 
what I want is not what on your list. So it's really very important to know what you want before yeah. you reach out to an agent or before you start the process. Because I'm sure if if I didn't know the crest I wanted, I would have just taken one of it, shot down my neck, and I would be be here and studying what I don't like. So I told them, I said, look, I had done my research and this is the school I want, this is the course I want. So I sent a mail to Vilnius and in less than 30 minutes, I got a reply with a portal created for me to start my admission process. So I opened the portal. So the portal has like numerous tasks. Once you do one, mm -hmm. it gets ticked. The first task was um, uploading my documents, uploading mm -hmm. my, your certificate if you have one, which mm -hmm. I did. Um, uploading your passport, mm -hmm. your request for your passport number, your NIN number, your name and all of that, which I did. And then at that stage, I was asked to pay the application fee, which was a hundred euro. Yeah. So I made that payment, uploaded the invoice, the receipts for the payment. And then the next thing was they wanted me to write to my school in Nigeria to send my transcript over to them, Okay. which took like a week. It got to them and I got a reply and they said they had gotten it. Mm -hmm. and we would work on it so um they sent a mail to ask some questions in my transcript to, to ask just questions so there's a back and forth process mm -hmm. yeah they carry you along on every process you can write to the school you get reply like asap mm -hmm. immediately and so after that um yeah uh they set up a i was asked to write a motivation motivation letter which i did i sent and i got a mail that said oh we're gonna have a skype interview with you it was a beautiful Skype interview. It was like 15 minutes, 10 minutes was just gist and bant, like getting to know you. Why Why are you coming to Lithuania? What, what career path are you looking at? Mm -hmm. What's the plan after this? Which I answered and um, I was. she said, you know, thank you so much for this. We had Nigerian students last year and she was one of our best students. I'm like, yeah. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make sure you're saying this next year to somebody to say I was one of your best students. I was just like, oh, good. We're looking forward to having you. And in less than one hour, I got my pre-acceptance letter to say congratulations. Oh. Uh, we've granted your admission. Pay your fees. And after fees was paid, I got my um, I got my admission letter. So. Oh, that's cool. So everything took you a space of how long? Well, because of COVID, yeah. So all of this, by March, March end of March, my mm -hmm. admission letter was out. But because of COVID, mm -hmm. we, I had to put a stop on it because I didn't know what was happening if I was going to go to school this year mm -hmm. or move it till next year. Mm -hmm. And then, and then you know, Europe was shut down also. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. School was shut down, so I, I put everything on hold. And then in July, um, my agent reached out to me and said, um, VFS is open. Schools are, they are asking yeah, people to that. apply. Mm -hmm. So I wrote to my school and said, yeah, um, I know I have missed the deadline of payment, and that was because of COVID. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Can I make payments now? And they said, okay, they were going to create another portal for me, mm -hmm. which I think was really fair. They did, and I made payments. Yeah, but if COVID had not happened, I'm sure if I'd made my payments by March, April, by Anything April, would yes, happen, yes. So. so it was February to April. Cool. So uh, you resumed when? When September, did your school resume? September second. September second. Yes, yeah, started classes in Nigeria. Okay, so how long? That means that you've been in Lithuania for say two months. Or yeah, I I came in October third. No, I left Nigeria October third. I came in October fourth. So basically, it's like exactly one two months. Yeah, since you got to Lithuania. Yes, exactly. In yeah, two months. Wow, <laughs> it feels <laughs> longer. It feels it feels like I'm in here. It's <laughs> more. <laughs> Is that, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad well, thing. Well, I, I, I think it's a good thing. And it's because I'm, in that space, I have met amazing people. Amy, for one. Yeah, she, she introduced me to her family, her circle of friends. And trust me, they have made me feel more welcomed than I have felt in a very long time. So, yeah. Yeah, this is the part where I plug in how I met her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I think she came across or her friend shared my my channel with her yes. and then she watched a couple of my videos and she reached out to me on instagram I did. she sent a very very sweet first message Aww. and it was just really nice because it, she wasn't actually reaching out to me to um to ask for anything she was just acknowledging you know like telling me that i was doing a good job we see you, you know, all of that <laughs> 
<laughs> and it was just really it was really heartwarming so when she came around she also kept me updated like you know she's coming she had gotten her visa so like mm -hmm. obviously i was very invested already even without meeting her so when she came around and she was out of isolation i made sure that you know i met up with her and the rest they say is it's history, history. <laughs> But honestly, I mean, I was just crushing and, you know, celebrity friend and I was like, you know, I just wrote to her and then she replied and I'm like, what? And I was in isolation here and she sent me a message to say, out when you're out of isolation, you should come to Ghana. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but honestly, it's, it's, it's been good. I, we, I like what you do. I, I literally spent the whole day watching her YouTube channel. It wasn't a little. Yo, guys, she's making me blush. <laughs> What was the truth? Thank you. She's actually really sweet. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> and thank Amy. Thank her for me. She's an amazing person. Yeah. So yeah, basically, um, it's been two months and it's been it's been great. I have good friends here because I came from Nigeria with a couple of friends, um, Juma and Wali. The beautiful part is we all all we're all in the same class. Oh, same class, cool. same course. So yeah, so we had like a system from Nigeria before coming here. We used to talk, we used to do. So we all came in together in a space of one day to each other. So and they've been friends. They've been, we've helped each other, we've supported each other. It's it's been good. It's family away from family. So what I'm guessing now is that you know after she already talked about the process yeah. and how she got her admission and where we're going to discuss you know the visa process everything you need for your visa process and the steps to take in a different video mm -hmm. so uh but what i have taken out of this is that know what you want and then start the process the universities here are very responsive so like if you have any questions do not hesitate to ask the university whatever question it is that you have ask at every point in time if you feel like you're stuck ask and yes. then you know like you think response. about it even at the point where she said you know the deadline of fees payment had passed she did not just decide that oh yeah uh it has passed i'm not gonna do that but she actually like reached out and asked so basically it's just a case of communication and feedback with universities so yes. first, first thing is to decide you know where you want to go to and then start the communication, look at their application process, do everything that you need to do. I don't think there is a complicated process, mm -hmm. even from what she said. It's like not, it looks one pretty of the easiest. Yeah, it looks pretty straightforward. So I hope you have your answers to some of your questions. So the next thing I'm going to ask you now is, you know, you are here in let's talk about school now. Like uh your course, what the classes are like oh and Okay, so um I started my classes in Nigeria, yeah, one month before coming here, and I can tell you that it's a different ball game entirely. Huh. Our classes this semester is basically online, and then you have so many factors that disturb that in Nigeria. You have the Nepa factor, you have the Nepa is electricity, by the way. Okay, electricity. <laughs> that's true. Uh, electricity factor. You have the internet factors, but coming here, it's it's been good. It's been seamless in the basics but then the class, class itself i've had i have friends who study something different from me and they always look at me like why is your course so complicated i'm like it's international communication so every week there's a project or there's an assignment there's something there's a presentation to do it's it's a learning process because you're not just learning the lecturers the professors are open to learn from you they want to hear you they want to hear you talk it's it's a different one and it's been very enlightening so many things I didn't know about communication, especially mass communication that was my first degree. <laughs> I have learned. You learn a lot. You, If you want to learn, you learn a lot. Yes. So what I can hear is that the educational system is top-notch. Yes, it is. It is. It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, so in case you were wondering, you know, like what kind of education would I get in Lithuania? You get a good one. You would get like really good education in Lithuania. So that is why it's also like a good place for you. I she also talked about, I don't know if you mentioned your what your school fees was, her school fees. 3,000 euro. So has That's an average, yeah? yeah. It's 3,000 euro for a year. And my cost is um two years, 1.5 actually. So for the second year, I'll be paying half of that. 
There are some courses that are a bit cheaper, some are a bit slightly more expensive. More expensive. Yeah, it depends on what. I you really want. think that four thousand five hundred euros for international communication is a great it is. price, especially for the quality of education that you, you get, get here. But of course, I'm not saying that you should go and do international communication. Okay, like <laughs> know what you did, especially so now we're talking about master's degree, right? It's also quite similar for your undergraduate degree because they also do like undergraduate degrees in English. Mm-hmm. So if you want to do your undergrad, you know, do your research, fi- figure out the course that you want to do, and then you apply for that course. So yeah, if you're doing your master's, you know, whatever you're going to do, it just makes more sense that it's related to your undergraduate, undergraduate degree yeah. and then you check out them. So I hope that we covered many of your questions. Uh, if you have any more questions around what we discussed or you have something that you'd like her to answer or whatever it is, Sha, please leave a comment in this video. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to know more about. Like this video, share, subscribe, everything, everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, share, share the link. <laughs> yes, and if you found this video helpful or you know anybody who will find it helpful. helpful, please share with them. You know and then you can come to me with your questions or just leave your qu- questions she's always on my channel so like she will definitely see your questions and if something she can answer she I will answer, answer. yes yeah, so um thank you for watching this video till the end i hope you found <laughs> it very useful if you did again i repeat this yes i know i repeat this it's for emphasis please share this video with your friends or with anybody you think will find it helpful mm-hmm. anyway yeah so i will see you in my next video bye this is a big hug. I can't. I can't ah! believe. I cannot believe that. <laughs> Just a month ago, I was literally crushing on you so hard. Ah! Oh, <laughs> and I'm here alive. Well, I'm on my channel. Oh God, what a way! Now think big and believe it. It will happen. Oh my God! <laughs> Call it into existence. It will happen. It's, it's a honor to be here. Thank You're you. You're doing an amazing job. And you know what? You're a better person than what they see. Oh, I, I have a real deal. I mean, I used to love her <laughs> when I used to watch her. I'm seeing this person has such a bright smile. Like her smile is so beautiful. But she, she's beautiful. Her heart is. Oh. Thank you. Thank you.